the encounter with the werewolf of Morbach. Definitely seen as one of the most interesting werewolf tales ever told surrounding the creature, helping to prove its existence in the modern world is that of the reported encounters with the werewolf of Morbach and the person of whom reported these encounters. According to the legend of the creature, back in the early 1800s, one of the top soldiers of Napoleon's army, a man by the name of Thomas Janus Baptist Schweitzer, became a deserter to find his way back to his homeland in France after the loss at Moscow. Joined by a group of other Russian deserters, Thomas Johannes journeyed through Germany and soon came upon the town of Wittlich. As the deserting soldiers came upon the town, they soon found a small barn located close to the Rhine River that was believed to be housed by a group of witches. They believed that, as their supplies were dwindling, it would prove to be a good idea to invade the barn, defeat the family, take their supplies, and stay there for the night before moving on. This would lead to a bloodbath of the soldiers striking down not only the father, but the children as well. As the soldiers were taking supplies and setting up areas to sleep, the mother came home and, upon seeing the bodies of her family, cursed the soldiers to be transformed into wolves at the sight of a full moon. It wasn't long before those that were cursed abandoned civilization and camped in the nearby woods, as their transformations would lead to a terrible bloodlust. A few months later, people from nearby towns would find the men and hunt them down, burying their bodies with a shrine built overhead with lit candles to prevent them from rising again as werewolves during each full moon. Stories of the candles being blown out and the creatures returning have been continued to be told in the modern day, as well as that of a military report back in 1988 from a nearby German base that was at the centre of these sightings. According to the German military report, on the night of a full moon after the shrine was said to have been extinguished, an attack soon caused sirens all around the base to sound as soldiers investigated who or what had torn holes in the fences surrounding the military base. Several soldiers would later claim to have seen a large wolf-like creature standing on its hind legs, running through the base and jumping over the nine-foot-tall fences when cornered. The Pyramids of Antarctica Around the world, we find evidence of pyramid structures that have often challenged our modern notion of the age of humanity and the technological and developmental might of our early civilizations. Given the fact that these great structures are often found in areas that predate archaeological beliefs of early human civilizations, discovering the location of these pyramids in which humans have never actively inhabited could then prove to be a smoking gun evidence of possible extraterrestrial intervention. This is what led to the alien enthusiast community looking toward the icy continent of Antarctica and claiming that, given the continent's recent discovery and completely uninhabitable terrain, to find such a structure amongst its icy lands would be more than enough evidence to prove such a theory. Using complex gathered research data and satellite imaging, the community worked day and night in the hopes of uncovering any evidence of these structures. Oddly enough, they did. Approximately larger than the pyramids at Giza, the alien enthusiasts began noticing strange mountains that did not seem to match with the overall landscape of the region. Not only did these supposed large mountains not exist anywhere close to a mountain range, but the region in which it inhabited did not appear to even have the stresses or strains of the tectonic plates that could cause a potential mountain range in the first place. Not only this, but the size of the mountain in that area ended up displaying the proportions of a perfect pyramid, with four even sides, a symmetrical peak and the same degree in slope gradient compared to that of the large pyramids at Giza. Images of these structures in high definition can also be found thanks to efforts made by researchers to locate the peaks of the mountains in the attempts to disprove these satellite images but only worked to prove their existence and showcase their symmetrical and artificial design in clearer imaging, leading to a number of legends surrounding the icy continent 
that speak of an advanced civilization before the existence of human civilization having once inhabited the land. The Aztec Pyramid of the Sun For the Aztec civilization, archaeologists have found that at the center of every major city and establishment by the ancient culture, there stood a large pyramid to act as a sort of heart of the city's design. This has led many researchers to believe that the pyramids held a major religious and spiritual significance that the city was built around, rather than that of the pyramid being built into an already pre-existing city. Additionally, given the large amount of importance that the ancient Aztec civilization had for that of human sacrificial rituals to their god of war and god of the sun, many researchers believe that the temple could have been used as a place of these rituals to be performed. The Pyramid of the Sun is believed to be the site of a number of these rituals that were conducted by the Aztecs to ensure that the safety of humanity was guaranteed by their gods. In fact, they believed that in the event that the ritual was not completed, their god of war and sun would immediately seek out a bloodthirsty solution and blot of the sun from the sky, completely casting the world into darkness and preventing life from continuing. To combat this, the Aztecs were believed to have performed rituals at this massive pyramid to appease their god and guarantee a new year. Additionally, in ancient Aztec mythologies, it is believed and claimed that the pyramids acted similar to that of a connection to that of their ancient gods. The Aztecs wrote many different accounts in their mythologies of their gods descending from the sky and landing on the pyramids that have been constructed in order to engage in conversation with the ancient Aztec people provide gifts, or use the pyramid as a way of maintaining this contact in the future. This has led many ancient alien conspiracy theorists to believe that the pyramids were that of an ancient landing site that alien life could descend upon. Given the fact that the Aztec mythologists talk about giving golds or other gifts to their gods, this could very well be the case and act as a sort of refueling station for those of an extraterrestrial nature. Still today, there is no true consensus as to the rule of the pyramids and why they were usually constructed as the centerpiece of cities, though there is believed to be a connection with the structure and that of the ancient gods worshipped by the Aztec civilization. Additionally, the pyramids in the region, the pyramids of the sun and moon, along with a smaller pyramid structure nearby, mark the exact coordinates of the three stars that make up Orion's belt on the Orion constellation. This helps to demonstrate their connection with the celestial bodies in the sky, the stars, and their religious significance. A discovered 1.8 billion year old nuclear reactor. Back in 1972, when a large amount of uranium ore was mined from the Oklo mine located out in the country of Gabron, a small nation found in Central Africa, Scientists began to test the uranium deposits to catalogue the amount of recovered uranium-235 that was gathered from the site and could be used for ongoing efforts of nuclear fission and nuclear reactors. Unfortunately, they quickly realised that a substantial amount of uranium-235 was missing from the ore deposits as uranium-235 naturally forms a solid concentration of 0.72%, but found a significant amount lacking from the mined minerals. As they investigated the situation, believing that perhaps more than 200 kilograms had been stolen, they quickly realized that located near the mined location was the perfect conditions to form a believed to be naturally forming nuclear reactor that is dated to be roughly 1.8 billion years old. Scientists claim that the uranium ore was used when a naturally formed cavern using groundwater to help stabilizing the nuclear reaction was discovered underground. Conspiracy theorists, however, have an alternative explanation. Given the fact that the specifications required to form a naturally made nuclear reactor require specific storage of the uranium-235, the continued influx of water and a number of steps to prevent the compounds from becoming superheated, it is believed that the location is not naturally formed and rather the use of a primitive nuclear reactor by time-traveling humans needed to create a substantial amount of energy. Today, the claim is widely debated as one of the key pieces of evidence of time-traveling humans and their influence on the past. The Great Attractor 
Although many might be well aware of the large, supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy responsible for the movement of the entire spiral-shaped galaxy of ours, many are completely unaware of what is known as the Great Attractor. The Great Attractor refers to an unknown space anomaly discovered to be at the center of the local Laniakea supercluster. Unfortunately, scientists can't explain or get better information regarding the Great Attractor as it appears to be in the zone of avoidance, of which means that the majority of the space there is completely obscured by energy created by the Milky Way galaxy. Gravitational measurements, however, show that the Great Attractor is not only pulling our own galaxy towards it, but all of the nearby galactic superclusters in our area. Although many scientific reports believed the majority of surrounding space to be moving away from us at increasing speeds, many believe that this might be tied to the gravitational force of the Great Attractor pulling the majority of the galaxies around us into its gravitational well. Estimates believe that the Great Attractor is a supermassive black hole that dwarves the singularity at the center of our galaxy by thousands of light years in distance. Information surrounding this theory is incredibly limited by the zone of avoidance, and it looks like scientists won't be able to truly give scientific insight as to the cause until the human race learns the ability to travel outside of the Milky Way galaxy to gather information. This ultimately means that despite this natural phenomenon being the most influential event on our galactic supercluster, humans may never learn the true nature as to its cause for the foreseeable future.